602, let's continue the following this breaking news. The carbon monoxide alert on the south side. Firefighters tell us at least 10 people now have been hospitalized following that response to the carbon monoxide alarm. We're going to get right out to Alex Osai as he joins us live right now on scene. Mm -hmm. Alex, you just spoke with JFRD. This was such a close call. It really is, Keith, uh, a, a tragedy avoided, as uh, Eric Prosswimmer with JFRD told us. He mentioned that this was a situation that involved a charcoal grill inside of an apartment just behind us here on Bay Meadows. This is near the intersection of Old Bay Meadows and Bay Meadows, right near Wells Fargo, if you're familiar with that landmark. But JFRD says that five of these patients were pediatric cases. They were taken, uh, he believes, to Wolfson's Children's Hospital, and then the other five taken to a nearby Baptist Hospital uh, as well. So this is something uh, that we asked him about. Take a listen to Eric Prosswimmer with JFRD. Uh, at that point, we've got to do our due diligence and check all the apartments are, that adjoin it. And two more of the four apartments uh, had high uh, carbon monoxide levels. They pulled the people out of those and we blew the uh, we put our fans in and exchanged the air to get all the carbon monoxide out. Cross Wimmer mentioning that you don't need to have a charcoal grill inside and try to avoid other things that may give off carbon monoxide. It's also a good idea to have a gas meter as well. Reporting live on the south side, Alex Osiris, First Coast News on your side.